Prophet's Wish is answering the qu asking the question that I think we all want to know, but uh, I really like you push. What the? F what? Did that guy just teleport? Am I tripping? What's up, everybody? Coach Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Overwatch video. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down a hard stuck player who just seems to not be able to rank up past gold. And we're going to give you all the actionable tips and things that you could be doing different if you are hard stuck in a very similar way. So make sure you watch to the end, smash that like and subscribe, and then go to the Game Leap website right now in the links down below with their special 50% off spring special. If you want to climb as easily as possible, if you want to surpass your limits and climb all the way up to Diamond, Masters, Grandmaster, and beyond, do yourself a favor, go check it out right now with our special 50% off sale. It's an insane opportunity, but without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now, right off the bat, let's read what this guy has to say about his own play, and then we're going to watch his VOD, and we're going to analyze some of the things he could be doing a little bit better to actually either make an impact or maybe adapt his play so that he wins regardless of it. So I'm going to summarize what he says, but basically what he says is he says, without a doubt, I have gotten better because of the info strategy you offer up. I wanted to reach out to you for a possible gameplay review video. I've been hard stuck gold tank for PC for the last two to three seasons. I main ball, but I play other heroes because people in gold tend to hate ball. I'm going to get to that in a second. I always float around the 2100 SR range, and I think I'm capable of platinum. So that's a lot more. I mean, you're talking about 400 to 500 more SR. I also feel like my ball is solid, but I have issues with my team dying when I engage. I know that that's partially my fault because ball is very independent. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Now let's just jump right into his footage. Let's analyze some of his fights and let's see if he's doing anything wrong or right. And what is the cause of him, quote unquote, being hard stuff? Okay, so I have the sound disabled for this, but he's going to roll out a spawn pretty good. Let's look at the compositions really quickly. He has a dive composition with Wrecking Ball and Winston with a Genji as well. Pretty good composition. The more is a little bit out of place in that because that's more akin to a brawl composition because if the, the divers go up top, Mora isn't going to be very effective, unfortunately. Now, she does have mobility, which is nice, but unlike a character like Ana, she can't heal from a distance. And then Widowmaker can work in a dive because you're doing damage from afar. While the divers go in, the Widow does damage from afar. Now, the other composition is actually pretty similar, relative, like, decent dive composition. They also have that more... Uh, pretty understandable it seems that Mora is just more played at the lower ranks and then Hanzo sniper like Widowmaker a little bit worse in a dive composition because you have to play in a closer range so you're susceptible to getting dove yourself but that's still perfectly fine so basically it's dive v dive because Nubani is a very dive centric map because of all that high ground and that's going to come up later when we break down some of the other areas of the map on Nubani but he's going to play really well here and I'm going to show you so He's going to set up right here. He's going to wait for his grapple. He's going to grapple right here. And he's just going to be able to engage right here on the isolated support and DPS. This is very good. This leaves him a chance for his Genji to dash in. This leaves him a chance for his monkey to jump in after or a Widow to get a shot or a nade to get off. This is actually really, really solid. A really good thing to do. You create a lot of opportunities for your teammates when you dive in like this. So I like it a lot. You don't really need to stay if the enemy comes to peel. You just back off, which is good. It's exactly what he does. So he just backs up. Good stuff. Now, he could probably go up here again. He has his grapple again. And that's something else about the enemy composition that I really want you to take note of. They don't have any form of CC to shut him down. So, basically, he could be extremely, extremely greedy into the enemy team. He doesn't necessarily need to get these giant shields off because the enemy are just not going to be able to focus him down. Like, they have to all focus fire him down. It's going to be very difficult when he's moving quickly. Unlike a McCree or an Ana or, or a Roadhog, something that could shut you down, there's none of that in this composition. So. so you could pretty much just run wild and just force them to respect you. Right down there, you probably could have just dipped down, grabbed that, that Omega. It doesn't really matter too much, but it's a nice just to get in the habit of after every rollout, if there's a health pack or some sort of heals that you can get nearby, you can just grab that really quick. You don't have to take the attention away from your primary healer because you want your Ana to focus on your team. Okay, so that's a miss. That's a miss slam. That's unfortunate. That can happen pretty often. Sometimes it's best to just go direct, but hitting them there, you probably would have gotten like three or even four hits, which would have been really good for displacing the enemy, but it, it's fine. It happens. You missed. You still ended up getting two of them after the fact. It looks like you're actually really low because that's something when you flew up like that, you did, you kind of slowed down 
And like I said, we just talked about how the only time you, this composition is going to be able to do anything with you or at you is if you are not moving fast enough because they don't have CC to stop you. So if, if you make sure all your engagements are really quick in, out, through, they're not going to be able to do anything to you. And you can just abuse that over and over again until you get mines. So you're going to back up all the way to this me mega. That's fine. You could have honestly probably hit the one underneath too. Um, but this is probably fine. No. Nope. The Hanzo is gonna get hit. You, I like, I like the routing there. I like the routing away. It looks like you're barely gonna die, but I think this was gonna be a reset regardless. So far, honestly, more than I expect from a gold wrecking ball. To be honest, it was, it was pretty good execution. A couple of things you didn't do perfectly, but you did create opportunity for your team to follow up on. Doesn't mean that they're always going to follow up on your opportunity though. That's something that you mentioned. It is just, it's important that you creating, you are creating as many of these opportunities as possible eventually you can make some opportunities for yourself with your ultimate or if you see people isolated and things like that but what you're doing right here is just perfectly fine nice slam i don't think he, i don't think you you tried to get the trace you were getting the monkey the monkey slam was nice it looks like y'all are going to be able to barely get through this point so right here something that you could actually do i think investing mines is actually pretty good here it's a pretty close fight you got a kill on your side, but the enemy's investing ultimates. You want to make sure that you cap this point no matter what. So just popping an ultimate center mass on point, it's pretty good for zoning. It makes it a lot harder for enemies to contest things like that, especially when they have a dive composition because they have to literally contest, like physically contest. It looks like y'all are going to be able to win it without the invest, so it's most likely going to be fine. But you can see how it's still pretty close here. The enemy's coming in. They're investing dragon. They're using ults. It is possible that you could lose this fight, but if you if you if you invest more ultimates in this fight, you can like shut that door and you always have later on to get get this point. You just really really do not want to get stuck at first on Nubani. It's very difficult to win if you get stuck at first on Nubani. <laughs> to spin to win. Ma you know, I understand the idea of spinning to win and in a lot of like in lower ranks it does work a lot sadly. It's typically better though to like move with intent. Get up on top of this cart, jump off, slam the monkey, you know, boop the enemies that are coming back in, harass them. They can't turn to focus you because they just can't do anything to you. They have no CC and they're not going to have any focus fire. So these are things that you could do on purpose rather than just spinning around. But honestly, that's probably going to get some value too because enemies are not going to shut you down. Nice kill on the monkey. Looks like it's going to be cleared. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here because I've watched a lot of this and y'all managed to take this point and y'all take the second point too and the third point. Everything goes good. You basically just, you play, you're playing a good wrecking ball, but that's not what we're trying to figure out. We're not trying to figure out it. We, we know now that you play a good wrecking ball. Like at the very least, I've seen worse wrecking balls at higher ranks. Let's just say that. I definitely have seen a lot worse wrecking balls at higher ranks definitely higher than gold you actually end up doing pretty well here you take this second point or, or this this third point which is really good but y'all actually don't win this game which is crazy but right off the bat i see you playing sigma and i think this is where things go really wrong and this is something that i want to talk about throughout the course of the video because you said it yourself you say let's quote you when you say i'm a ball man but i play other heroes because people in gold tend to hate ball so i see you play a lot of different characters in this game and none of them are even close to as good as your wrecking ball that's the first thing and in my opinion you should never be playing something just because people get mad that you're playing it. like do you think a grandmaster widowmaker would care if she's just popping heads all the way from plat to grandmaster if people get pissed that she's playing widowmaker or if there's one game that she's not performing amazing and people flamor for it no so i honestly think that wrecking ball can work in many different situations you don't have to just fill in to what your teammates want especially if you're not going to get anywhere near as much impact as you would on wrecking ball so let's hold here uh let's 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 play this you kind of poke pretty well you poke pretty well here y'all y'all managed to hold this for actually quite a long time got hit by that widow don't want to peek that ledge again so yeah don't want definitely don't want to peek that right side again you can get shot again i <laughs> god damn why every single bar i do i swear Someone gets randomly pinned by a Reinhardt every single time. <laughs> you killed yourself. So I'm not entirely sure why you even went down to point in the first place. Was it to peel for your Ana? Is that what you were trying to do? I don't necessarily know if you needed to give up that high ground. You could have like threw out a shield for her 
and you could still rock that diva as she comes in i don't really think you need to jump off this high ground because i i get what you're trying to do but you give up this high ground for for really free and you weren't really paying attention to where the rhine was or anything like that because you dying here is really bad it's really bad so y'all actually end, end up losing that point i think y'all just get rolled through these streets too yeah oh this is a really important moment so so look at this look at how this fight progresses because this is a really important thing i see a lot of main tanks do this incorrectly so he's poking he's poking and this is good stuff you got your ultimate so you want to actually take a fight right here so if you look at this if you look at this if you take a fight right around this right here you'll even if you lose as long as you stop the cart you're gonna have another fight before the end but if you wait and let the like you keep backing up and don't engage the fight until like all the way over here you're, you're only gonna get one fight in streets and you want to have two you want to have more shots of winning a fight so it's actually good for you once you get this to engage onto the enemy push in with your team say hey let's go and then activate your ultimate and try to win the fight right here and stop this card just contest it get those fights in um because that could be the the difference between winning and losing is just getting more fights in because you're just backing up i get they pop an ultimate maybe you're saying okay i'm just gonna let their ultimate exhaust but i really just think that y'all are, are not committing to something and you're the main tank in your composition so you're the one who should decide when to engage we're gonna see this again in the reinhardt section which i'm gonna uh, that's the last thing i want to cover before we close but that's a really good rock don't know if you did that on purpose but it was really really good but yeah see you're losing people so y'all y'all just thought to back up but y'all are still losing people and realistically it would have been far better if y'all would have took that fight because even if you lost you would have got that refight but the enemy is going to use ultimates they're going to keep killing you they get two kills and you pop your ultimate there's no way that this is going to do absolutely anything you basically turned all of streets into one fight where you you wasted your ultimate didn't do anything like yeah you're gonna get a solo diva the enemy was all grouped up earlier on cart when you actually could have gotten maybe two or three maybe even started the fight and won the fight comboed it with high noon but instead you're probably just gonna completely waste this you're gonna get killed the enemy tracer got two more kills you're just gonna get killed after this and yeah it's just gonna be a lost point so yeah i think now you're gonna swap brine and this is another thing that i see so you're playing more characters more more characters that you don't even main you just want to play it for your team and i i do think that learning these characters is good it's gonna make you a better player to learn them but you should never be playing something just because you're afraid of what enemies are gonna or your teammates are gonna say like if they're gonna criticize your wrecking ball if you can make it work make it work who cares if they're gonna complain about you playing wrecking ball if you're winning the game if you're having tons of impact because i don't know why but sometimes people will feel better they're like hey i have a rhyme but they lose the game they're like hey at least we had a rhyme it's like you lost <laughs> why does it matter why does it matter if you had a rhyme i really like you push what the what did that guy just teleport am i tripping what is happening oh the roadhog hooked him <laughs> i was like what the okay sorry i'm out of it okay so yeah so right here you should be pushing into them so you have advantage here that rhine is low you need to put the pressure on and this is what we call taking space on a tank you push up into that corner and you challenge them here and put pressure that way so your team can wrap to the right and put pressure down that hole so the enemies have to get the fuck back or they're gonna die like do not give them this big space you have full health you have full shields push on top of them you do kill that Ryan, so just keep pushing. Push, 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 push. Swing, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now up here, yeah, swinging's fine. You can honestly just hold up your shield here, push up and hold up your shield. The enemy team, they do have a Widowmaker, so you gotta be a little bit careful about that. It's actually good if you just push up here, hold up your shield, and just let your team take a little bit of free pot shots from behind your shield, that's fine. And then eventually you can back up. Uh, yeah, now I don't really know what you're doing, but okay, so back up okay so see once again so now you're down a player so really you kind of want to you want to make a play here and you want to maybe do it with your ultimate you do have that ultimate so here again right here this natural cover is your friend you could play right here and jiggle behind this while you're getting you're getting heals and you're going around and you're swinging and you're coming back swinging fire striking you can get this ultimate really quickly and you might be able to carry this fight with it Yeah, so yeah, you're 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 not really swinging that much, and you're giving you're letting these these tanks just walk in. You want to be putting pressure at them. 
as you get low, you can shield up, but you really want to be, you don't you really want to let them walk into that corner for free. You wanted them to take a lot of damage or, or bait out cooldowns while they walked into that corner. Nice block of the shatter. Not entirely sure if that was intentional, but nice block anyways. Now you have shatter. So if the enemy Ryan fire strikes, you can get a shatter in. You can also shatter just people that are isolated on the side. If the Ryan veers too far off to the right, you could shatter the people on the left and just look for those opportunities. You don't necessarily have to shatter the enemy Reinhardt. It's, it's actually really easy on you now that the enemy Ryan doesn't have shatter. You don't have to be afraid of getting counter shattered. How are you dying? That's what I want to know. You go all the way up to 400 health. I can't, I don't have audio on, so I don't know. Yeah, you do get headshotted. You get headshotted for a giant chunk of damage. So yeah, pushing a little bit now, you should be pulling back because you're, you know, you're weak. Um, you, you honestly also could have maybe snuck in a shatter here. A little bit risky. The Ryan fire strike, you could have probably snuck in a shatter. Understandable, understandable why you didn't, but you can end up getting killed here. That's unfortunate. It looks like your moral was low on resources and you got headshotted by that widow and kept on pushing. So, um, it would have been better if you would have used the natural cover around you instead of going around the cart. Play around the surfaces. Swing in and out of natural cover. You don't need to push through it. And it just gives you very little, like, surface to hide behind if you need to. So now, the Rhine's here. The Rhine pinned your here. You can shatter this Rhine. You can push forward. Shatter the rest of the enemy team. You need to do it soon. Shatter right here. He would just finish fire striking. You can shatter there. You're getting pushed off. Shatter right here. The Rhine's not paying attention. Please shatter. Please. Nope. Nope. You're nanoed. You got pinned. The enemy Ryan shatters you. D You've had this shatter forever. A sh a good shatter would have won that team fight, and y'all could have had a reset, built ultimates, backup, all that. No shatter comes out. No attempted play. Yeah, you could have easily, I mean, at the very least, beat the enemy time, but realistically, you could have won a fight, and then who knows what happens after that. In my personal opinion, just playing better as Ryan here would have carried this game. Going back to the beginning, I don't necessarily think you need to flex, but it is important that you understand that you could also be playing a better Ryan. I think playing Wrecking Ball and Ryan is like a good two tanks to play, but it really, is, realistically, you could climb higher with any of the tanks. But I really hope you understand that there are a lot of individual things that you could be doing in these games to make that difference. And then on top of that, understand that you should not necessarily be caring about the, the nitpicky nature of gold. I know that a lot of people in gold will flame you or whatever, just mute them. Move on. If you're getting the impact, getting the value, that's all you need to do. Focus on your individual plays. People could get mad about you, whatever you're playing, but they could lose regardless. So I think that's a really important takeaway. And I do think that your Wrecking Ball is a lot better than your rank shows. But I do feel like you might also flex off Wrecking Ball a little bit too much when you maybe shouldn't as well. And then you could probably learn a little bit of these other tanks so that you're more flexible depending on the situation or the composition that you're playing in. But if you have any other questions, please send me a private DM. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like and subscribe if you did. And go to the Game League website in the links down below for high quality in-depth advanced guys right now with our special 50% off spring sale. It's never a better opportunity to get in on the action and climb as a result. Do yourself a favor, go check it out in the links down below. But thank you so much for coming by. That's all I got for you right now. I love your faces and I'll see you next time.